It's not a willy, we're sat in an elephant. People think it looks like a penis, but it's an elephant. I think it's unfair. BFFs. yourself? Uh, I had mixed emotions. <laughs> I, I quite enjoyed myself in there. I just feel a bit fatherly. You said so. You said we were we were about to witness a spinal injury. We worry about the young people nowadays. We're old men. There's nothing wrong with them. I had glory in their wonder, but no, I, I, I worry that they're going to hurt themselves, do yeah. themselves a mischief. just in a very self-aggrandizing way, like having Wiley come on stage with Hot Chip and do wearing my Rolex at Glastonbury was pretty wicked. Al introduced him in a really, in a really like geeky way that we always take the piss out of him before. He's like, and now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Wiley. <laughs> you, can, like, you can see it on the video. And um, in the rehearsals for that, we were doing the song and we'd been learning it. And Wiley, Wiley, the only thing he really wanted to work out was like, all right, wh when do I do the oggies? <laughs> so, when's the oggy? When do I do the oggies? And we're like, uh, what do you mean? And it's like, you know, the oggies. And, and we eventually worked out he wanted like a little 16 bar bit added in the middle of the song where he could do oggy, oggy, oggy. And it was like the biggest moment in our entire set by far. Like he had like everyone doing the oggies with him. Maybe we need to work out when we're doing the oggies tonight, Joe. It's the only, it's the only thing you really need to work out. <laughs> we could just, we could just not play music, and just go and do oggies. <laughs> People would love For it. An hour and a half. This lot, would fucking love it. I once vomited so hard at Glastonbury that it came out of my nose, oh. and, I, and and I was doing it in a bush. And as I was doing it, there was this girl who'd been pissing in the bush, and she walked out and saw me, and she walked past me. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty, that was yeah. a low point. Of course we've seen him before. We love the dancing missing Rod. I think he's like the soul of a party in a way. He's good. Does he have a blog? I don't think so. So well, how does everyone know who he is? Like I don't have a special code name that people call me. <laughs> so how did he get it? You do, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> Wallop. Bangers. I think the weirdest place we ever played, well not weirdest, but like the most far out place was like on a corner in Soweto, in Johannesburg. And there was all these Pantsuela dancers. Pantsuela's that dance that looks a little bit like Crumpy. And they all knew Joe's tune, Gabriel. That was a big hit in South Africa. It was good. It was Someone moment. sung it on the X Factor in South Africa, that song. Yeah, it was shit, it was acoustic. <laughs> we DJ'd in the London Eye pods. We, we did a DJ battle against Felix the house cat, and he played Hot Chip. Yeah. She was just underhanded. But we beat him eventually. We did. It was like um, we him. It was like the swingometer on election night. Because <laughs> people had headphones on that went blue or red depending on which which DJ they were listening to. Bloods or crits. And we were we were the conservatives unfortunately. I oh, know, yeah. It was a shame. That was quite fun. <laughs> we DJ pretty much anywhere. As long as I beat the peas. <laughs> In terms of our chops, it will probably be quite good. Yeah. We might actually be good DJs by the time. You, who knows? <laughs> by the time we're finished there. I'm looking forward to it, I'm really looking forward to it, especially the nights where we get to play ourselves all night. Yeah, I basically don't really like dance music that much anymore, so <laughs> getting to play other kinds of music is really excellent Yeah, for you me. play music at the beginning and the end. And That's actually good. We'll play completely across the board probably at these nights, starting off. You know, kind of taking the aesthetic from Optimo or one of the great residencies. We're planning lots of nice things to kind of hopefully make the atmosphere feel fun and kind of free and, you know, unusual. What, balloons or...? Some balloons. Some balloons. <laughs> yeah, that, that usually signifies Just balloons. free and unusual. Three. Transvestites, mostly. Transvestites. Lots of transvestites. Neon. Lots of neon. Uh, lots of sort of quasi-spiritual 
Um, bullshit. Things to try to make the club feel exciting and um, different. Yeah. Uh, because we really want to have a spirit where we feel like we can play different kinds of music, you know. We don't want it to feel like it has to be straight down the line, heads down, ketamine fueled boredom. I had a friend, an Icelandic friend, who took residency at an art gallery in, I think it was in Stockholm or somewhere in Scandinavia, and he did this installation, bit of performance art, where he was dressed as a medieval monk or something, and at the end of every day he would explode his cock. He, he, would, he would make this thing where he would explode his cock. Do you want to explode your cock in front of camera? Of course! <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? David. David from? From Attenborough. From, from Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Attenborough. From Attenborough. Attenborough yeah. <laughs> this is David from Attenborough. <laughs> oh, 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 easy, okay, easy. Okay, okay. All right. Don't boot man in the face. Have a great time. This is a German whip. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're good. It's a German whip. Exactly, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> That's David from Attenborough. Hi guys. Yes, lads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's from Manny, I'm from Liverpool. Where? Hey. Yes, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I love Scouts. <laughs> I love Manchester people. I love everybody. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs>